Hello, hi guys. Let us start with today's current mock affairs, March mock drill three. Coming to national and state affairs. On March 9th, Google is launching a global Google.org impact challenge for women and girls, under which it will provide $25 million in overall funding for non-profits and social organizations in India and around the world. Based on learning from the Internet Sathi program, Google is introducing a new Women Will web platform to support 1 million women entrepreneurs in rural India. So you can see it here, Google is launching a global Google.org impact challenge for women and girls. The Women Will web platform is going to support 1 million women entrepreneurs. Headquarters of Google is in California, United States. CEO is Sundar Pichai. On March 5th, the Border Road Organization has constructed a 200 feet Bailey Bridge on the Joshimat Malari Road across the Rishiganga River in record of 26 days. It restored the connectivity to the 13 border villages in Uttarakhand's Chamoli district. The bridge has been renamed the Bridge of Compassion as the tribute to fallen Karma Yogis of the Rainy Power Plant and the NTPC Power Plant. So Border Road Organization has constructed a 200 feet Bailey Bridge or the Bridge of Compassion across the Rishiganga River. It has restored the connectivity to 13 border villages in Chamoli, Uttarakhand. Headquarters of BRO is in New Delhi. Director General is Major General Rajiv Chaudhary. Uttarakhand's capital is Dehradun and Gersen. CM is Tirath Singh Rawat. Governor is Baby Rani Maurya. On March 7th, India's first forest healing center based on the concept of making people healthy by bringing them into direct contact with nature was opened to the public at Kalika in Uttarakhand. It was inspired from the Japanese technique of forest bathing, Shirin Shinrin Yoku, for stress relief and mood rejuvenation. So it is India's first forest healing center. It is opened in Kalika, Uttarakhand. It was inspired from the Japanese technique of forest bathing for stress relief and mood rejuvenation. Uttarakhand's capital is Dehradun and Gersen. CM is Tirat Singh Rawat. Governor is Baby Rani Maurya. India has launched a real-time vessel tracking system that can help seafarers and fishermen in the times of need. The system is termed as Sagar Manthan, Mercantile Marine Domain Awareness Center. It will be operated by the Director General, Directorate General of Shipping. So India has launched a real-time vessel tracking system termed as Sagar Mantan. It is operated by DG Shipping. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has launched the Global Encyclopedia of the Ramayana. The encyclopedia in an e-book format is prepared by the Ayodhya Research Institute. So Uttar Pradesh has launched the Global Encyclopedia of the Ramayana. Uttar Pradesh capital is Lucknow. CM is Yogi Adityanath. Governor is Anandi Ben Patel. On March 6th, the Delhi government has approved the formation of a separate school board for nearly 2,700 schools in the city. In the beginning, 21-22 state government schools will be affiliated to the Delhi Board of School Education. And then in the next 4-5 to five years, all the schools will be brought under it. So Delhi has approved the formation of separate school board for nearly 2,700 schools in the city. Delhi's CM is Arvind Kejriwal, Governor is Anil Baijal, Chief Secretary is Vijay Dev. On March 6th, the mobile train radio communication system is commissioned in the Western Railways train to prevent accidents. It was launched at the Divisional Railway Manager's office in Mumbai. MRTC acts in a similar way to that of an air traffic control for aircrafts. So mobile train radio communication system is commissioned in the Western Railways. Headquarter of Western Railway Zone is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. GM is Sri Alok Kansal. On March 6, Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik has inaugurated India's first of its kind World Skills Centre at Mancheshwar in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. The centre has been developed at an investment of Rs. 1342.2 crore. So India's first of its kind World Skills Centre was inaugurated at Mancheshwar in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Odisha's capital is Bhubaneswar, CM is Naveen Patnaik, Governor is Ganeshi Lal. On March 8, in the state budget for 2122, Maharashtra has proposed to provide 1% concession over prevailing stamp duty for women home buyers. The state government is estimated to face revenue shortfall of around 1000 crore owing to this concession being provided to women home buyers. So Maharashtra has proposed to provide 1% concession over prevailing stamp duty. Maharashtra's CM is Uddhav Thakre, Governor is Bhagat Singh Koshyari. On March 9th, a transgender community desk has been inaugurated at the Gachi Bali police station. 
It is the first of its kind gender inclusive community policing initiative in India. So this is India's first ever transgender community desk inaugurated at the Gachi Bali Police Station, Hyderabad. Telangana's capital is Hyderabad. CM is K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Governor is Tamil Asai Saundarajan. On March 9, Union Minister V. Muridharan has stated that two passport seva kendras are being transformed into all women PSK, one in New Delhi and the other at Cochin in Kerala. A total of 1670 women employees are deployed in the passport seva program. So two passport seva kendras are being transformed into all women PSK at Delhi and Kochi. Ministry of External Affairs is headed by Subramanyam Jay Shankar, constituency is Gujarat. Minister for Ex State for External Affairs is V. Murli Dharan. On March 9, to overcome the in inconvenience over multiple helpline numbers for grievances and inquiry during railway travel, Indian Railways has integrated all railway helplines into single number 139 for quick grievance redressal and inquiry during the journey. This name, the name of this in Hindi is Rail Madad Helpline. So the 139 helpline will be available in 12 languages and the passengers can either opt for IVRS, Interactive Voice Response System or directly connect to the call centers executives. So Indian Railways is going to integrate all the railway helplines into single number 139 helpline. The 139 helpline will be available in 12 languages. Headquarter of Indian Railways is in New Delhi. Chairman and CEO is Sunit Sharma. On March 10th, Bareilly Airport is functional now and has started flight operations with this development. Bareilly becomes the 8th airport to operate in Uttar Pradesh. As per the reports, the Bareilly Airport has been upgraded for commercial flight operations under Uran RCS. With this, Bareilly becomes the 56th airport to be successfully operationalized under Uran. You can see it. UP's capital is Lucknow. CM is Yogi Dityanath. Governor is Anandi Ben Patel. On March 7th, Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju and Women and Women Child Development Minister Smiri Irani have launched an online training program exclusively for female physical education, teachers and community coaches so as to celebrate International Women's Day. Ministry of Sport plus Ministry of Women and Child Development has launched an online training program for female physical education teachers. Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports is Kiran Rijiju. Smiti Zurbin Irani is the Minister of Women and Child Development, Minister of Textiles she has been elected from Amiti, Uttar Pradesh. On March 8th, Andhra Pradesh would become the first state to come up with a gender budget this year. CM Jagan Mohan Reddy virtually inaugurated women help desks and cyber kiosks in police stations across the state, launched Swetcha program intended to create awareness on the menstrual hygiene among adolescent girls and flagged off a fleet of 900 Disha patrolling vehicles and 18 Disha crime scene management vehicles. So Andhra Pradesh is the first state to come up with a gender budget this year. Andhra Pradesh has launched the Swetcha program and a fleet of 900 Disha patrolling vehicles. You can see it here. Andhra Pradesh capital is Amravati. Vishakhapatnam is the executive capital. Kurnool is the judicial capital. CM is Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy. Governor is Biswa Bhushan Harichandan. On March 8th, the Delhi government has announced to set up 500 Anganwadi hubs under the Saheli Samanvay Kendra. This will incubate individual startups and promote self-help groups. Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sasodia has set aside Rs 4750 crore for the Department of Social Welfare, Women and Child Development and Welfare of SCSTs and OBCs. So Delhi has announced to set up 500 Anganwadi hubs under the Saheli Samanvay Kendra. CM is Arjun Kejriwal, Governor is Anil Bajal, Chief Secretary is Vijay Dev. On March 10th, NTPC Southern Region is all set to commission about 217 megawatt floating solar capacity, including one of the largest floating solar power plant of 100 megawatt at Ramagundam in Pedipali district of Telangana by May 21. The project costs rupees 430 crore. So this is India's largest floating solar power plant of 100 megawatt. This is to be commissioned in Pedipali, Telangana. Telangana's capital is Hyderabad. CM is K. Chandrasekhar. Rao, Governor is Tamil Sai Saundarajan. Headquarter of NTPC Southern Region is in Sikandrabad, Telangana. Headquarter of NTPC is in New Delhi. CMD is Gurdeep Singh, founded in the year 1975. Indian Railways has ensured 100% compliance of the payment of minimum wages to contract workers through Shramik Kalyan portal. The Shramik Kalyan e application of the National Transporter was launched on 1 October 2018. As on 9 March 2021, a total of 15,812 contractors and as many as 3,81,831 contract workers are registered on this portal. 
Headquarter of Indian Railways is in New Delhi. Chairman and CEO is Sunit Sharma. Piyush Goel is the Minister for Railways, Minister for Commerce and Industry. His constituency is Maharashtra. Union Minister for Railways, Commerce and Industry and Consumer Affairs, Piyush Goel, has flagged off 3,000 HP Cape Gauge locomotive indigenously developed by Banaras Locomotive Works, Varanasi. The export of locomotives to Mozambique shall boost the Indo-African relationship. So you can see it here, 3,000 HP Cape Cod locomotives developed by Banaras Locomotive Works. Piyush Goel heads the Minister for Railways, Ministry of Commerce and Industry and his constituency is Maharashtra. On March 4th, a new cultural centre of the High Commission of India was inaugurated by the External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar in Dhaka, Bangladesh. It is the second cultural centre of the High Commission of India in Dhaka. So you can see it here, he has inaugurated the second cultural centre of the High Commission of India in Dhaka, Bangladesh. The capital of Bangladesh is Dhaka, currency is Dhaka, PM, PM is Sheikh Hasina, President is Abdul Hamid, Minister of External Affairs Shubramanyam S. J. Shankar comes from Gujarat, he is a Rajya Sabha member I guess. El Salvador has become the first country in Central America and the third in all Americas to get the malaria free certificate from the WHO. Malaria Elimination Certificate is awarded to a country when the chain of indigenous transmission of the disease has been disrupted nationwide for at least three consecutive years. El Salvador has recorded its last malaria death in 1984. In India, the malaria infections fell by 14.4 million between 2000 and 2019. So it is the first Central American country to be declared malaria free. Headquarter of WHO is in Geneva, Switzerland. DG is Tedros Adhanom. Member countries are 194. El Salvador's capital is San Salvador, currency is US dollar, president is Naib Bukele. On March 9th, PM Narendra Modi has virtually inaugurated the India-Bangladesh Friendship Bridge over the Feni River at Sabroom in South Tripura. He has also inaugurated and laid the foundation stone for eight other infrastructure projects together worth 3,518 crore. So you can see it here, he's inaugurated the India-Bangladesh Friendship Bridge. Inaugurated over Feni River at Sabroom Tripura. He has laid the foundation stone for eight other infrastructure projects as well, worth 3,518 crore. Tripura's capital is Agaltara, CM is Viplab Kumar Dev, Governor is Ramesh Bias, Bangladesh capital is Dhaka, currency is Taka, PM is Sheikh Hasina, President is Abdul Hamid. On March 9th, Swiss voters have voted in favour of the proposal to ban face coverings. Both the niqabs and burqas worn by Muslim women in the country and the sky masks and bandanas used by protectors. So Switzerland have voted in a proposal to ban the face coverings, both niqabs and burqas worn by Muslim women, right? Switzerland's capital is Bern, currency is Swiss franc, president is Guy Kremlin. As a part of the Swarnim Vijay Varsh, celebrating, commemorating 50 years of the 1971 war triumph against Pakistan, INS Sumedha and INS Kulish have made the first ever visit to the historic port of Mongla in Bangladesh from March 8th to 10th. So INS Sumedha and INS Kulif have made the first ever visit to the historic Mongla port in Bangladesh. Bangladesh's capital is Dhaka, currency is Dhaka, PM is Sheikh Hasina, President is Abdul Hamid. On March 9th, India has attracted a total FDI flow of $67.54 billion during the April to December 2020. It is the highest ever inflow for the first nine months of a financial year. Besides, FDI equity inflow grew by 40% in the first nine months of financial year 21 to $51.47 billion from an year ago period of $36.77 billion. So India has attracted total FDI inflow of $67.54 billion during April to December 2020. FDI equity flow grew by 40% in the first nine months of financial year 21 to $51.47 billion. On March 9th, Axis Bank has partnered with WhatsApp to offer basic banking services to its customers. This will allow customers to seek information regarding their account balance, recent transactions, credit and card payments, fixed and recurring deposit details besides getting their queries answered in real time. So Axis Bank plus WhatsApp has done a partnership to offer basic banking services to its customers. Headquarter of Axis Bank is in Mumbai, MD and CEO is Amitabh Chaudhary. Tagline is Bharti Ka Naam Zindagi. On March 8th, HDFC Bank has launched Smart Up Unnati program for mentoring women entrepreneurs by women leaders at the bank. This program is available only to existing customers and will target more than 3,000 women entrepreneurs associated with bank's Smart Up program. So Smart Up Unnati program for mentoring women entrepreneurs has been launched. Headquarter of HDFC Bank is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. MD and CEO is Sashidhar Jagdishan. Tagline is, we understand your world. 
On March 9th, Maharashtra State Finance Minister Ajit Pawar has presented a 4,84,118 crore budget. The state government announced Rajmata Jijau Griha, Swamini Yojana, Karanti Jyoti Swadvitri Bhai Pule Scheme, Tejaswini Yojana Maharashtra, Apprenticeine Promotion Scheme, and Sant Janabai Social Security and Welfare Scheme. So Maharashtra FM is Ajit Pawar. Schemes are Rajmata Jijau Griha Swamini Yojana, Kranti Jyoti Savitri Bhai Phule Scheme, Tejaswini Yojana, Maharashtra Appentries Promotion Scheme, Sant Janabai Social Security and Welfare Scheme, Maharashtra CM is Uddhav Thakre, Governor is Bhagat Singh Koshyari. Karnataka Vikas Gramin Bank has launched the Vikas Asha Loan Scheme for Women. Under this scheme, the bank will extend loan up to a maximum of Rs 10 lakh with a payment period of 84 months. So it has launched the Vikas Asha Loan Scheme for Women. Headquarter of KVGB is in Dharwad, Karnataka. Chairman is P. Gopi Krishna. On March 9th, Ujjivan Small Finance Bank has launched a women saving account named Garima Swimming Account, catering the financial needs of women. It will offer multiple customized benefits to women, including up to a maximum of 7% rate of interest on saving account. So Ujjivan Small Finance Bank has launched the Garima Saving Account for Women. Headquarter of Ujjivan SFB is in Bangalore, Karnataka. MD and CEO is Nitin Chuk. On March 8th, Yes Bank has launched the Yes Essence, a holistic banking proposition for women across customer segments, homemakers, salaried professionals, entrepreneurs, and senior citizens. The proposition offers a bouquet of solutions including complimentary healthcare benefits, earn on auto sweep to FD, preferential pricing on loans, fee waiver on DMAT, and trading account and more. So Yes Bank has launched the Yes Essence, a banking service customized for women. Headquarter of Yes Bank is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. MD and CEO is Prashant Kumar. Tagline is Experience Our Expertise. On March 5th, Echo Drive, a one-stop solution for first-hand car buying, has partnered with IDFC First Bank to issue free fast tags. With Echo Drive, getting a fast tag is hassle-free and convenient. Unlike fast tags issued by others, Echo Drive's digital platform requires no issuance fee, no paperwork, or security deposit. So Echo Drive plus IDFC First Bank has partnership to issue fast tags. Headquarter of IDFC First Bank is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. CEO is V. Vedinathan. Headquarter of Echo Drive is in Bangalore, Karnataka. CEO is Varun Dua. On March 8, Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia has proposed a budget outlay of 69,000 crore for 2021-22. The theme year for this year's budget will be patriotism to celebrate 75 years of India's independence. 10 crore will be allocated on program and events on the life of Bhagat Singh and another 10 crore for program and events on the life of B.R. Ambedkar. So Delhi has proposed a budget outlay of 69,000 crore. Theme year of this year's budget is patriotism. Delhi CM is Arvind Kejriwal, Governor is Anil Bhaijal, Chief Secretary is Vijay Dev. On March 16, DBS Bank India has partnered with TRRAIN, Trust for Retailers and Real Associates of India. As a part of the DBS Stronger Together Fund, the partnership will support youth from low-income households by providing them with long-term employment opportunities. The program aims to train and secure jobs for over 800 individuals by the end of 2021. So DBS Bank India plus TRAIN is going to provide long-term employment opportunities to youth. Headquarter of DBS Bank India is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. MD and CEO is Surjit Shome. On March 16th, Bank of Baroda, in partnership with AquaConnect, will provide credit assess to 1.6 million aquaculture farmers under the Kisan Credit Card Scheme at an annual rate of as low as 10%. So Bank of Baroda plus AquaConnect are going to provide credit assess to 1.6 million aquaculture farmers. Headquarter of Bank of Baroda is in Vadodara, Gujarat. CEO is Sanjeev Chadha. Tagline is India's International Bank. Headquarter of AquaConnect is in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. CEO is Raj Manohar Samasundran. On March 10th, State of Bank of India has stopped the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology's Digital Payment Scorecard for third consecutive month with 64 crore transactions on the UPI platform and a user base of 13.5 crore. So SBI has stopped the METI's Digital Payment Scorecard for the third consecutive month. Total transactions on UPI platform is 64 crore, user base is 13.5 crore. Headquarter of SBI Bank is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Chairman is Dinesh Kumar Khara. MD is Challa Srinivasalu Setti, Ashwini Bhatia, Ashwini Kumar Tiwari, Swaminathan, Janki Raman. On March 10th, Axis Bank has become the first bank to launch contactless payment wearable devices, wear and pay, for Rs. 750. Customers can make up contactless payments up to Rs. 5000 at the point of sale machine. 
using simple wave or tap. So it has become the first bank to launch the contactless payment wearable devices wear and pay for 750 rupees. Headquarter of Excess Bank is in Mumbai. MD and CEO is Amitabh Chaudhary. Tagline is Badhti ka naam zindagi. On March 10th, Karud Vyasa Bank and Chola Mandalam Investment and Finance Company have jointly announced launching of the co-lending business in a partnership. So KVB Chola has launched the co-lending business in a partnership. Headquarter of KVB is in Karur, Tamil Nadu. MD and CEO is B. B. Ramesh Babu. Headquarter of Chola is in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Chairman is M. M. Muru Gappan. On March 9th, the Finance Ministry has notified the change in the GST Act on the recommendation of the GST Council. The CBI has made e-invoices filing of GST mandatory for businesses with an annual revenue of Rs 50 crore from April 1, 2021. So CBI has made e-invoices filing of GST mandatory for businesses with annual revenue of Rs 50 crore from April 1, 2021. Headquarter of CBIC is in New Delhi and uh, chairperson is Amajit Kumar. On March 8, the Indian Army has released four Heron unmanned aerial vehicles made by Israel Aerospace Industries for possible deployment along the 348 India-China border. The lease period is for three years. So Indian Army has released four Heron unmanned aerial vehicles made by Israel. Israel's capital is Jerusalem. Israeli shekel is the currency. President is Reuven Rivlin. PM is Benjamin Netanyahu. Headquarter of Indian Army is in New Delhi. Chief is General Manoj Mukund Navrani. Ravani, Vice Chief is Chandi Prasad Mohanty. On March 9th, the armies of India and Uzbekistan have conducted the second edition of the exercise named Dust Lick 2, recreating Kashmir like counter terror operations between March 9th and 21th in Chaubatia near Raniket in Uttarakhand. The exercise is aimed at carrying out joint counter terror operations in a mountainous rural urban scenario. The second edition of the exercise named Dust Lick 2 was held between India and Uzbekistan. This happened in Chaubatia, Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand's capital is Dehradun and Gersin. CM is Tirat Singh Rawat. Governor is Bibi Rani Maurya. On March 10th, France has begun its first military exercise, codenamed Aster X, in space to test its ability to defend its satellites. Michael Friedling, the head of France's newly created Space Command, called the exercises a stress test of our systems. So France has begun its first military exercise, codenamed Aster X. France capital is Paris, currency is Euro. President is Emmanuel Macron, new PM is Jean Castex. On March 9th, the Indian Navy has signed a contract with Surya Dipta projects to construct 11 ammunition come torpedo come missile barges. Delivery of barges is scheduled to commence from May 22. So Indian Navy plus Surya Dipta projects is conducted a contract to construct 11 ammunition come torpedo come missile barges. barges. Chief of Indian Navy is Admiral Karambir Singh. Vice Chief is G. Ashok Kumar. Headquarter of Surya Dipta Project is in Thane, Maharashtra. MD is Shamashish Ghoshal. On March 8, the Women and Child Development Ministry has classified all its major programs under the three umbrella schemes, Mission Potion 2.0, Mission Vatsalya, Mission Shakti, for their better implementation. So, Women and Child Development Ministry has classified all its major programs under the three umbrella schemes. On March 9th, on International Women's Day, Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha has launched the Super 75 Scholarship Scheme to support the education of meritorious girls from poor families. Mission Youth will provide 10% of the project cost and will pay the interest every year. The Lieutenant Governor has also announced a new scheme, Tejaswini, under Mission Youth to provide financial assistance of 5 lakhs to the girls between the age group of 18 to 35 years. So Super 75 Scholarship has been launched. Jammu and Kashmir has launched the Tejaswini scheme for girls. Financial assistance is 5 lakhs. Age group is 18 to 25 years. Jammu and Kashmir's capital is Srinagar. Lieutenant Governor is Manoj Sinha. On March 9th, Union Cabinet has approved the Pradhan Mantri Swasthya Suraksha Nidhi as a single non-lapsable reserve fund for share of health from the proceeds of health and education says. PMSSN will be administered by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The proceeds of health and education says are levied under Section 136B of the Finance Act 2007. So, Cabinet has approved the Pradhan Mantri Swasthya Suraksha Nidhi as a single non-lapsable reserve fund. Proceeds of health and education says are levied under Section 136B of the Finance Act 2007. India's women's trap team trio Kirti Gupta, Manisha Kir, and Rajesh Pari Kumari won a silver medal in the ISSF World Cup in Cairo. Egypt after being defeated by Russia. So India's women trap team has won a silver medal. 
headquarter of ISSF is in Brussels, Belgium. President is Vladimir Lisin. Egypt's currency capital is Cairo. Egyptian pound is the currency. President is Abdel Fateh Al Sisi. On March 9th, National Anti-Doping Agency's disciplinary panel has imposed sanctions on weightlifter Madhavan R for four years and boxer Ruchika for two years for the violation of its code. So NADA has imposed sanctions on Madhavan R and Ruchika boxer for four years and two years respectively. Headquarter of NADA is in New Delhi. CEO is Navin Agdiwal. Motto is Playfair, founded in the year 2005. The 51st CISF Raising Day was observed this year on March 10th. The CISF was set up under an Act of Parliament of India on March 1969 with the strength of around 2,200 personnel. March 10th, 51st CISF Raising Day. Headquarter of CISF is in New Delhi. Director is Subodh Kumar Jaiswal. Motto is Protection and Security. On March 8th, the third National Gestational Diabetes Mellitus DGDM Day is observed on March 10th. Gestational diabetes puts women at a greater risk for developing diabetes later in life. So March 10th is the third National Gestational Diabetes Mellitus Day. First was celebrated in 2019. Now we shall take a seven minute break. For those users who are viewing it after its premiere, they can just skip seven minutes, seven to eight minutes. Those users who are viewing it in premiere, they can take a seven minute break. I shall be back in seven minutes. Thank you very much. After seven minutes, we shall meet.
So hi guys, I guess the time period for seven minutes is over and you've taken sufficient amount of break. Let us start with the next slide. So at the invitation of National Securities Advisor, Shri Ajit K. Doval, National Security Advisor of Nigeria, Major General Babanga Monguo had visited India for the first strategic and counter-terrorism dialogue between India and Nigeria at the level of NSA from March 4th to 5th, 2021. The first strategic and counter-terrorism dialogue was held between India and Nigeria. National Security Advisor of India is Shri Ajit K. Doval. Nigeria's capital is Abuja, currency is Naira. President is Muhammadu Buhar. On the occasion of 30th Foundation Doe of the Center for Materials for Electronics Technology on March 8th, Sanjay Dhotre has inaugurated the International Conference of Multifunctional Electronic Materials and Processing at Pune. India's share in global electronics manufacturing increased from 1.3% to 3.6% in 2019. So March 8th is the 13th, 30th Foundation Day for the Center of Materials for Electronics Technology, Pune. Sanjay Dhotra has inaugurated the International Conference on Multifunctional Electronic Materials at Pune. MOS, Minister of State for Ministry of Education is Sanjay Dhotra. On March 9th, Ministry of Culture and Tourism, Pralhad Singh Patel, has inaugurated the All Women's Art Exhibition titled Akshay Patra at the Rabindar Bhavan Galleries of Lalit Kala Academy in New Delhi. Prahlad Singh Patel has inaugurated the All Women Art Exhibition titled Akshay Patra in New Delhi. Prahlad Singh Patel is the Minister for Tourism, Minister for Culture. His constituency is Damo, Madhya Pradesh. On March 6th, Bangladesh has announced the names of nine individuals and one organization for conferring the Swadhinta Puruskar, the highest civilian award of the Bangladesh for the year 2021. The award has been given since 1977, ahead of the Independence Day of Bangladesh. So Bangladesh has announced the name of nine individuals and one organization for the conferring the Swadhinta Puruskar. Swadhinta Puruskar is the highest civilian award of Bangladesh since 1977. Bangladesh's capital is Dhaka, currency is Dhaka, President is Abdul Hamid. On March 8th, Left Hand Governor Tamil Asai Saundarajan was presented the Top 20 Global Women of Excellence Award for 2020 at the 9th Congressional International Women's Day Gala at Naperville, Illinois. So she has received the Top 20 Global Women of Excellence Award for 2020. On March 8, the former Puducherry Lieutenant Governor Kiran Bedi has received Baton of Honor, decorated with the emblem of the Indian Republic and Letter of Appreciation from President Ramnath Kovin at Rashtrapati Bhavan. So Kiran Bedi has received the Baton of Honor from President Ramnath Kovin. On March 8th, Petra Kvitova have won the Women's Single Qatar Open title 2021. It was the second Qatar Open title and 28th career title from 30 finals, finals played. So she is from Czech Republic and has won this Women's Single Qatar Open title 2021. Czech Republic's capital is Prague, currency is Corona, president is Milos Zeman. On March 10th, after Vinesh Fogart has grabbed the 53 kg gold medal, Bajang Punia has won the gold medal in the final of the men's 65 kg event at Matteo Pellicone ranking series in Rome, Italy. With this, he has become the world number one in the 65 kg category. The 14 member Indian wrestling contingent has won eight medals, two gold, one silver, five bronze. So, Bajang Punia has won the gold medal. Vinesh Bogat has won the gold medal in women's 53 kg category. And 14 member Indian wrestling contingent won total eight medals. 2 gold, 1 silver, 5 bronze. Bajanak Munia in male, Vinesh Fogart in female. On March 9th, chess player Koneru Hampi has won the second edition of the BBC India Sports Women of the Year Award 2020. The award was based on a public vote in which Hampi beats printer Duti Chan, shooter Manu Bhakar, wrestler Vinesh Fogart and hockey captain Rani Rampal. Hampi has become the youngest grandpa in 2002 at the age of 15. She has received Arjuna Award in 2003 and Padma Shri in 2007. So Koneru Hampi has won the second BBC India Sportswoman of the Year. Manu Bhakar is related to shooting, Vinesh Fogart is related to wrestling and Rani Rampal is related to hockey. The Indian Council for Agriculture Research has received the prestigious King Bhumi Bowl World Soil Day 2020 Award by the Food and Agriculture Organization. Ms. Suchitra Durai, Ambassador of India to the Kingdom of Thailand, has received the award on behalf of ICAR in a ceremony in Bangkok. Ms. Suchitra Durai is the Ambassador of India to Thailand and she has received the King Bhumi Balls World Soil Day Award on behalf of ICAR. Headquarter of 
F O O U is in F A O U is in Rome, Italy. F A O full form is Food Agriculture Organization. D G for this organization is Q Dong Yu. Formation in the year sixteenth October nineteen forty five. On March tenth, Union Minister Anurag Thakur has become the first serving M P to be appointed as a captain in the Territorial Army. Thakur was promoted as the captain in the one two four six regiment. He is a four time B J P M P from Himachal Pradesh, Hamirpur. For first serving MP to be appointed as a captain, he is a four-time BJP MP from Hamirpur, Madhya Himachal Pradesh. On March 9th, Asset Reconstruction Company Limited (ARCL) has appointed Pallav Mohapatra as its Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director. Prior to the appointment, Mohit Patra was MD and CEO of the Central Bank of India. So he has been appointed as the MD and CEO of the Asset Reconstruction Company Limited, headquarters of ARCIS in Mumbai, Maharashtra. MD and CEO is Pallav Mohapatra. On March 10th, Gadwal Member of Parliament Tirath Singh Rawat has taken oath as the ninth Chief Minister of Uttarakhand. After he was elected by the BJP Legislature Party, his predecessor Tivinder Singh Rawat resigned on March 9th. Uttarakhand's capital is Dehradun. Current cap second capital is Gharsin. CM is Tirath Singh Rawat. Governor is Baby Rani Maurya. On March 8th, Thomas Batch from Germany has been re-elected unopposed for a second term as the president of the International Olympic Committee for a four-year term till 2025. So Thomas Batch was re-elected as the president of the IOC for four years. Headquarters of IOC is in Lausanne, Switzerland. President is Thomas Batch. Germany's capital is Berlin. Currency is euro. President is Frank Walter Steiner. On March 10th, Competitor Auditor General of India, Grish Chandra Murmu, has been reappointed as the Chairman of the Panel of External Auditors of UN for the year 2021. The UN General Assembly had in 1959 established the Panel of External Auditors. Presently, the panel consists of 13 countries. So he has been reappointed as the Chairman of Panel of External Auditors. Present member countries are 13. Headquarter of UN is in New York, United States. Secretary General is Antonio Guterres. On March 10th, REC Limited and Power Finance Corporation have entered into a pact with Bhutan-based Kholung Chu Hydro Energy Limited to finance a 600 megawatt hydroelectric project at Trashinga Ste in Bhutan. So REC Limited plus PFC have signed a pact with Kholung Chu Hydro Energy Limited to finance the 600 megawatt hydroelectric project in Bhutan. Headquarters of PFC is in New Delhi. CMD is Ravinder Singh Dhillon. Headquarters of REC is in New Delhi. CMD is Sanjeev Kumar Gupta. On March 4th, according to a report titled "COVID-19: Threat to the Progress Against Child Marriage," was released by UNICEF, 10 million additional child marriages may occur before the end of the decade. Five countries, including India, account for about half of the total child brides in the world. Worldwide, an estimated 650 million girls and women alive today were married in the childhood. The target is to end child marriage by 2030 under the UN's Sustainable Development Goals. UN's target is to ch end child marriage by 2030. Headquarters of UNICEF is in New York, USA. Executive Director is Henrietta H. Four, established in the year 1946. As per the UNCTAD B2C e-commerce index 2020, spotlight on Latin America and the Caribbean. India has ranked 71 out of 152 countries. India had ranks at 75th position in 2019. Switzerland has topped the list. On that B2C e-commerce index 2020 put spotlight on Latin America and the Caribbean report. India's rank is 71, topped by Switzerland. Headquarter of UNCTAD is in Geneva, Switzerland. UNCTAD Secretary General is Mukhisa Kitui. As on March 4th, according to UNCTAD's Technology and Innovation Report 2021, India is the biggest overperformer in its frontier technologies amongst countries with similar per capita GDP. India has overperformed other countries by 65 ranking positions. It was followed by Philippines, which overperformed by 57 ranking positions. U.S., Switzerland, and U.K. were best prepared for frontier technologies. So this report is also released by UNCTAD. Name is Technology and Innovation Report 21. India is the biggest overperformer with 65 ranking positions. Second is Philippines, released in Gen headquarters is in Geneva, New Switzerland. UNCTAD Secretary General is Mukhisa Kitui. On March 8, Singapore, with a score of 89.7, has topped the global ranking for the second year in a row with the latest Economic Freedom Index 2021. This is published by the U.S. conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation. 
In 2021, index India came out in the middle of the middle of the pack with among Asia specific countries, ranking 26th out of 40 countries, scoring 56.5 points. Globally, the foundation rate India's economy as the 121st freest. So you can see it here, topped by Singapore, India has 121. On March 9th, seamless transport connectivity between India and Bangladesh has the potential to increase national income by as much as 17% in Bangladesh and 8% in India. According to the new World Bank report titled Connecting to Thrive, Challenges and Opportunities of Transport Integration in Eastern South Asia. So Connecting to Thrive, this is the challenging opportunities of transport integration in Eastern South Asia by World Bank. Headquarter of World Bank is in Washington DC, USA. Member countries are 190. President is David Malpass, MD and CFO is Anshula Kant. This we have repeated a lot of times. On March 7th, with a vision to promote nano entrepreneurship amongst youth in the financial services sector, National Skill Development Corporation has collaborated with Sahipay, an Android based integrated platform developed by Manipal Business Solutions to promote digital enablement and financial inclusion in India. So NSDC and Sahipe are in a collaboration to promote digital enablement and financial inclusion in India. Sahipe is developed by Manipal Business Solutions. Headquarter of NSDC is in New Delhi. MD and CEO is Manish Kumar. On March 7th, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare has signed an MOU with Central Silk Board under the Ministry of Textiles on a convergence model for implementation of agroforestry in the silk sector under the ongoing submission on agroforestry scheme. So the full the short name abbreviation is FMAF. The full name is Submission on Agroforestry Scheme. At present, the scheme is being implemented in 20 states and two UTs. National Agroforestry Policy was launched in the year 2014. So headquarters of Central Silk Board is in Bangalore, Karnataka. Chairman is KM Hanumath Rayappa. Wipro Limited has joined the Partnering for Racial Justice in Business Initiative launched by the World Economic Forum to promote a culture of diversity, inclusion, equity and justice for people of all racial backgrounds in the workplace. So Wipro plus Partnering for Racial Justice in Business has signed a partnership to advance racial justice and social inequality. Social equality. This is an initiative of WEF. Headquarter of Wipro is in Bangalore, Karnataka. MD and CEO is Thierry Delaporte. PNB Housing Finance has partnered with Delhi-based NGO Azad Foundation for the new initiative Women with Wheels so as to facilitate underprivileged women, gain driving skills and also donate electric cars to them in Jaipur and Indore. The initiative is a part of its corporate social responsibility project called SHE. So PNB Housing Finance plus Azad Foundation have formed a new initiative, Women with Wheels. It's a part of CSR project called SHE. Headquarter of PN Banking Housing Finance is in New Delhi. MD and CEO is Hardayal Prasad. Tagline is Ghar Ki Baat. On March 8th, an MOU with between the Ministry of Women and Child Development and Invest India was signed to enhance cooperation in the thematic areas of nutrition, child protection and development, women empowerment and convergent capacity building in mission mode. So Ministry of Women and Child Development plus Invest India have signed an MOU to enhance cooperation in the thematic areas. Smithy Zubinarani is the Ministry, Minister for Women and Child Development, Minister for Textiles. Headquarter of Invest India is in New Delhi. MD and CEO is Deepak Bagla. On March 8, the Punjab government has collaborated with various United Nations and other global agencies, UN Women, UNDP, UN Population Fund, JPL, and FUEL to scale its efforts to empower and protect women. Punjab government is also launching Technical Fest with UN Women. So you can see it here, Punjab capital is Chandigarh, CM is Captain Amrinder Singh, Governor is VP Singh Badnor. On March 9th, the state-run Odisha's Industrial Infrastructure Development Corporation and Indian Oil Corporation have signed an MOU to develop a plastic park in Paradeep. The project costs Rs 107 crore, an incentive of Rs 2000 for each metric ton of polyporolus granules from Paradeep refinery shall be offered to the manufacturing units located in the Paradeep Plastic Park till March 31, 2030. So Odisha plus IOCL have signed an MOU to develop the plastic park in Paradeep. Cost is Rs 107 crore. Odisha's capital is Bhubaneshwar. CM is Naveen Patnaya. Governor is Ganeshi Lal. Headquarter of IOCL is in New Delhi. Chairperson is Shrikant Madhav Madhav Vedya. On March 9th, Uttarakhand based Samagra Shiksha Abhyan have signed an MOU with IBM to improve the education standards among the female children of the state by introducing IBM STEM for girls program. 
It will be introduced in 130 secondary and say higher secondary schools across five districts: Dehradun, Pauri, Haridwar, Almora, and Dham Singh Nagar. So Uttarakhand plus IBM have signed an MOU to introduce STEM for Girls program. This will improve female education standards. Headquarters of IBM is in Armonk, New York, USA. CEO is Arvind Krishna. Headquarters of IBM India is in Bangalore, Karnataka. MD is Sandeep Patel. On March 16th, Magic Bricks has tied up with Razorpay and HDFC Bank to allow users of its platform pay rent online through credit cards. The user will get interest-free credit for 45 days when the rent is paid through credit card. So Magic Bricks plus Razorpay plus HDFC Bank is going to allow users to pay rent online through credit cards. The headquarter of Magic Bricks is in Noida, UP. CEO is Sudhir Pai. On March 8th, Telangana's V Hub in collaboration with Australian government has announced to launch the 12-week pre-incubation program Upsurge. Upsurge is a pre-incubation program to aid women entrepreneurs from across India to achieve financial independence. So V Hub plus Australia is going to launch the 12-week pre-incubation program Upsurge. Australia's capital is Canberra, currency is Australian dollar, PM is Scott Morrison. Samsung Electronics System (LSI) Business Mastercard Samsung Card has signed an MOU to develop a biometric card that features a built-in fingerprint scanner, so as to authorize transactions securely at the in-store payment terminals. So, Mastercard plus Samsung Card have signed an MOU to develop a biometric card. CEO is Ajay Banga. Headquarter of Mastercard is in New York, USA. On March 10th, the National Health Authority have signed an agreement with UTI Infrastructure Technology and Services Limited. to issue free pvc card ayushman cards to eligible beneficiaries ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana beneficiaries residing in at least 11 states can avail now the free pvc ayushman cards utit sl from now so nha and ut iit sl have signed an agreement to issue free pvc card ayushman cards to eligible beneficiaries headquarters of nha is in new delhi ceo is rs sharma Headquarter of UTIIT CL is in Navi Mumbai, Maharashtra. MD and CEO is Vinay K Jain. Vijay K Jain. On March 9th, Union Government, Union Environment Minister Shri Prakash Javadekar has released the e-book titled Green Queens of India: A Nation's Pride. On the occasion of first ever conference of women Indian Forest Service officers and women frontline personnel, the Green Queens of India: A Nation's Pride e-book was released by Prakash Javadekar. Book is dedicated to Indian women forest officers. On March 8th, President Ramnath Kovind has inaugurated the state-level tribal conference at Singrampur Gram Panchayat in the Mode district of Madhya Pradesh by laying the foundation stone for conservation work at Singhorgad Fort. First copy of Bangi booklet is presented to the parts to the president. The book showcases the tribal heritage of Madhya Pradesh. Singhor region can be developed as a national tribal hub. So President Ramnath Kovind has inaugurated the state level tribal conference at Singrampur Dhamo in MP booklet Bangi was released and it was presented to the president Singhor region is to be developed as a national tribal hub Singo Singhorgad fort is located in Madhya Pradesh capital is Bhopal CM is Shivraj Singh Chauhan governor is Anandi Ben Patel On March 7th a road map for entrepreneur book is published by the Biz Ayuris Foundation Jitender Gupta director of Biz Ayuris Foundation wrote the book So a road map for the entrepreneur book is authored by Jitender Gupta. In Karuna Nidhi a life AS Paneer Selvan Selvan tells the story of the man who became a metaphor for modern Tamil Nadu where language empowerment self respect art literary forms and films coil set to lend a unique vibrancy to politics. Karuna Nidhi a life book is authored by AS Paneer Selvan. Actor producer director writer Sushmita Mukherjee's new book of short stories Banch Incomplete Lives of Complete Women was released in January 21. The book is a collection of 11 short stories written over 3 decades. Her debut novel was Me and Juhi Bibi. So Banj is the Incomplete Lives of Complete Women authored by Sushmita Mukherjee. Sushmita Mukherjee's debut novel is Me and Juhi Bibi. On March 6, well-known Kannada poet, critic and translator NS Lakshmi Narayan Bhatta has passed away in Bangalore. Born in 96 in Shimoga district, he was a prolific writer. He won several awards including Karnataka Sahitya Academy Award, Masti Prashasti and Kannada Rajyotsava Award. He was a Kannada poet, critic and translator and he has passed away. On March 8th, former Rajasthan and Gujarat governor Anshuman Singh has passed away in Lucknow. He was 86. Anshuman Singh had taken charge as the governor of Rajasthan on January 16, 1999 and has remained in office till May 2003. Rajasthan's capital is Jaipur. CM is Ashok Gehlot. Governor is Kalraj Mishra. On March 9th, French billionaire and member of Parliament Olivier Dassault has passed away in a helicopter crash. Since 2002, he was a lawmaker for the conservative Les Republicains party. 
so oliver de salt from, from france a politician and billionaire and has passed away france capital is paris currency is euro president is emmanuel macron new pm is jean castex on march 10th ivorian prime minister hamid bakayoko has passed away due to cancer in germany bakayoko was chosen last july as the prime minister of ivory coast also known as cote de ivory he was 56 Patrick Achi has been appointed as the interim prime minister while Tene Brahma Kotara has been named as interim defense minister. So Hamid Bakayoko he is also a politician passed away as PM of Ivory Coast or Cote de Ivory. Patrick Achi was appointed as the interim prime minister of Ivory Coast. Tene Birahmi Otwara was appointed as the interim defense minister of Ivory Coast. Capital is Yamo Sokoro. currency is cfa franc president is alasame owatara on march 10th google has shared a doodle to celebrate 89th birth anniversary of the renowned indian professor and scientist udupi ramachandran rao he is known as the india satellite man rao passed away in 2017 due to the age related ailments he was born in a remote village of karnataka so google has shared a doodle to celebrate the 89th birth anniversary of udupi ramachandra rao Headquarter of Google is in California, United States. CEO is Sundar Pichai. Founded in the year 1998, the Starship SN10 spacecraft of SpaceX has touched down successfully after a high altitude test flight on March 3 in its third attempt. SN10's two immediate predecessors, SN8 and SN9, were failed. The so SpaceX has successfully tested its Starship SN10 prototype rocket after failed two attempts. Headquarter of SpaceX is in California, US. CEO is Elon Musk. Founded in the year 2002. On March 8th, the ISRO along with NASA has completed development of NISAR, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, capable of producing extremely high resolution images for joint Earth observation satellite mission. NISAR will be the first satellite mission to use two different radar frequency L band and S band to measure changes in our planet's surface less than a centimeter across. The mission is targeted to launch in early 2022 from ISRO's Shri Harikota spaceport. ISRO and NASA has completed development of NISAR, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, launched, going targeted to be launched in 2002 from ISRO Sri Harikota Spaceport. Headquarters of ISRO is in Bengaluru, Karnataka. Director is Kailash Vidhu Sivan. Formed in the year 1969. Headquarters of NASA is in Washington D.C., USA. Administrator is Jim Bridenstine. Founded in the year 1958. On March 8, the indigenously instrumented advanced flight torpedo successfully cleared its maiden flight trial with the parachute system from the Indian Navy's Ilyushin 238 maritime patrol aircraft. It is designed and developed by the Naval Science and Technology Laboratory (NSTL). So, NSTL, uh, so Indian Navy has successfully conducted the maiden flight trials of advanced flight torpedo. Test was conducted from Indian Navy's Ilyushin 238 maritime patrol aircraft. Designed and developed by NSTL, Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Chief of Indian Navy is Admiral Karambir Singh. Vice Chief is G. Ashok Kumar. DRDO has successfully developed a prototype of an air-independent propulsion system that will allow Indian Navy submarines to operate for up to two weeks without having surface to recharge its batteries. The system is being developed by Naval Materials Research Laboratory of DRDO. NMRL is expected to operationally field its indigenously AIP by 2023 to 24. So NMRL plus DRDO developed a prototype of an air independent propulsion system for submarines. Headquarters of DRDO is in New Delhi. Chairman is Dijit Satish Reddy. Established in the year 1958. Headquarters of NMRL is in Thane, Maharashtra. Director is Dr. Manoranjan Patri. On March 7th, ISRO has planned to launch an Earth observation satellite, GSAT-1, that will provide its near real-time images of its border and also enable quick monitoring of natural disasters. GSAT-1 is slated to be lofted into space by GSLV F-10 rocket from Sri Harikota Air Space Probe in Andhra Pradesh, Nello District. So, ISRO is planning to launch Earth observation satellite, GSAT-1. It will be launched from Sri Harikota Space Probe, Nello, Andhra Pradesh. Headquarters of ISRO is in Bengaluru, Karnataka. Director is Kailash Vidhu Sivan. Formed in the year 1969. On March 9th, Russia's Roscosmos Space Agency and China have signed an MOU to set up International Lunar Scientific Research Station. The lunar station will be designed for conducting research on the surface or orbit of the moon. So Russia and China have signed an MOU. Russia's capital is Moscow. Russian ruble is the currency. PM is Mikhail Mishustin. President is Vladimir Putin. 
China's capital is Beijing, currency is renminbi, president is Xi Jinping. On March 10th, Paytm has launched two new Internet of Things based payment devices, helping business to accept card payments on Android phones. The Paytm Smart Point of Sale application allows smartphones to accept debit and credit card payments. Paytm upgraded his IoT device Soundbox 2.0 that comes equipped with a digitally enabled screen that gives instant visual confirmation of the paid amount along with a voice based response. So Paytm has launched the two new based payment devices, Part POS app and Soundbox 2.0. Headquarter of Paytm is in Noida, Uttar Pradesh. CEO is Vijay Shekhar Sharma. Thank you for watching. I'll come live with the third and fourth, like this one and the fourth mock drill of March in Hindi tomorrow morning. So thank you all. I shall also be coming with Indian Polity Static GK. So kindly join that too. Thank you very much.